Welcome to Lecture Online, and here we're going to solve what we call an inequality between two variables. We have two variables, x and y, and so here it's not an equation, it's an inequality. And because of that, there's really an infinite number of solutions, an infinite number of combinations that x and y can be that will satisfy this inequality. So how do we solve for that? Well, the easiest thing to do is to take this inequality and first turn it into an equation. So change the inequality symbol into an equation symbol. So we then write y is equal to 2x minus 2. Of course, this is not equal to this. This is an equation. That's an inequality. They're not the same thing, but it helps you solve the inequality. So now we're going to go ahead and graph that equation. So we know how to do that because we have the general format. Uh, y equals mx plus b. So that's the slope and that's the y-intercept. So in this case, let me uh, draw the y here and here so we have the x. And so we know that the intercept is at minus 2. So minus 1, minus 2. So the intercept is right there. And the slope is 2. That means it rises 2 and runs 1. You go up 2 and over 1, up 2 and over 1 and so forth. And if you connect these dots, that then is the line that represents that equation. Now we don't want to draw necessarily a solid line, we want to draw a dashed line. Because we want to determine whether or not that line is part of the solution or not. In some cases, the line that, that differentiates between the region that is the solution and the region that's not the solution is included in the solution, and sometimes it's not. It depends upon the inequality symbol here. If it says greater than or equal to, that means if it's equal to, that means it also includes the line. If it doesn't say equal to, then it does not include the line. So in this case, you can see it does include the line, which means we can actually make it a solid line, because now we know that the line itself is included as well. Now, when we say it has an infinite number of solutions, that means it, maybe this is a solution, that solution, this solution, or maybe this and this and this is a solution. With other words, one of the sides of that line will be the solution, will include the infinite number of combinations of x and y that satisfies that inequality. Well, in order to figure out which side is the solution, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and try a test point. I'm going to try a test point, and if I can use 0, 0, that's always a good test point. So let's use the point 0, 0, and see if that point satisfies the solution. If it does, then all the other points on that side satisfy the solution. If it doesn't, then it's all the points on the other side of the line that satisfy the solution. So what we're going to do here is take our inequality, so y greater than or equal to 2x minus 2, and we're going to try the point 0, 0. If we do that, let's plug in the 0 for y and the 0 for x and see if that satisfies that inequality. So 0 greater than or equal to 2 times 0 minus 2 question mark, because we don't know if it will or not, and then we simplify that, so we have 0 greater than or equal to, 2 times 0 of course is 0, minus 2, so now the question is, is 0 greater than or equal to minus 2? And the answer is, yes it is. That's kind of odd, 0 is bigger than a number, but yeah, 0 is bigger than a negative number, so the answer is yes. All right, which means that the point that I chose, my trial point right here, is in the region that, solve, that satisfies inequality, which means all the other points on that side satisfy inequality. That means the points on the other side do not. What I like to do is I like to get rid and say, this is the side that does not satisfy inequality. This is the side that does satisfy inequality. And so therefore, all the points to the left of that line satisfy this inequality. And that's how that works. Now I know that some textbooks do this the other way around. Some textbooks like to uh, line out the part that does satisfy an inequality. The problem with that is if you have multiple lines, it makes it easier to develop that. So this is my preferred solution. This satisfies the solution. This satisfies inequality. That does not satisfy inequality. And that's how we do that.